I've been writing this record for the past like year and a half, and I'm very fortunate to be able to work with Lucas and my brother David. We've just spent a lot of time on it and have been able to listen back to mixes and talk about what we like and what we don't like. I add keyboard parts, and um, I, uh, if she wants strings, I'll arrange those parts and find the string players, uh, and then they'll come in and record here, and I'll listen, and Lucas and I will talk with Andrea about kind of what we're hearing and, and piece it all together that way. So, the, so then, yeah, you reverse the waveform and bring the crescendo right up to yep. that moment. I, I wonder, too, if you can double it and, like, put one down the octave. Yeah, I just want to make sure it's not insane. That's pretty good. Get the reverb on that. That might be good enough. I actually think this is the pivot. This is the pivotal moment where you switch to death metal. It's an assembly line of sorts. Um, so we all have a different level of technical knowledge, and nobody knows more about Andrea's music than Andrea, of course. And the, the nice right, thing about her is that she, before this, these songs get to record, she does so much performing nationwide that these are all battle-tested songs. We know they're going to work, you know? And so in a lot of ways, she's kind of like the field researcher for the, for the team. I think it'll be very satisfying in the end to have a record that every song, I really love what we did with it. So I'll just play through it, and you can adjust your levels in there. You are on number three. Okay. I got off at Jackson Hole, there was we start with the song, and usually I lay down the guitar track first to a click track, make sure the guitar is perfect. Once all the parts are in, Lucas takes that and starts to mix it so all of the levels work perfectly. I wonder if it would be good to have one where it's just one single note, and then maybe you do want to reverse yep. it, or maybe you can add to it. Well, it makes sense to reverse it because you have the crescendo coming I like the that. I yep. like that. Yeah, that's cool. That's sweet and then down the octave too. We just want to work together and you know, I've worked on David's projects and Lucas and David collaborate on their own projects and Lucas and I have made stuff together. I think we all just really care about making great music. Oh, I like that, that's nice. Yeah. It works well because the three of us have on some spectrum a similar personality. And, and then do, 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 then to the F sharp. David's kind of on the extreme composition and Andrea's more on the performer end and I'm I really am preferentially somewhere in between those two um, so I like the, com the composition I like the recording component but I like to see how that translates to live I like to think about um, you know getting out there and seeing how it will work in both of the environments I always look at artists like uh, you know Billy Joel Tom Petty um, Bob Dylan people that people that she reminds me of in, in the sense that they all do what they're supposed to do. That's my favorite kind of artist to work with. And I don't know if I can really articulate what exactly that means, but I just know it when I see it. When they come and I'm like, yep, you're doing what you do. Nobody cares if the foundation's cracked. And I know how to work with that, because you can communicate that to me. So that works out really well. She's definitely one of those people. When somebody asks, the raw material is just really strong in her songs. She comes at it from a really natural, organic place, and I think there's something really refreshing about that. <laughs> 